Hello and welcome dear friends, it's me Odo and I'm back in Path of the Thought. As you can see this is not Pathfinder Kingmaker and um, I am just starting to um, to <clears throat> break my own rules. This is the new Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. So it's a new game. <laughs> I hope it will work on my computer. But everyone in my role-playing group is just playing it. And that heck why not? Um as you can see there is a continue button, but I will start a new game. I was just playing around with the um with the character creation stuff um we'll go to core rules um we will turn off the devs door uh i mean we will turn it on uh because i really don't want to lose my uh people when they die but we will have the normal critical hits, we will have the damage party in 1.0. So the enemies and we will make more or less the same damage as it was intended by the rules. Uh, we will also turn off other effects um, in this game. Uh, because I really hate the better effect. Uh, and that's it. So uh, core rules are more or less like uh, like in the game. As I said, just with the two exceptions, F store and better effects. But everything else is like uh, when you take the game and buy it and play it in pen and paper. Okay. Um, I was thinking, uh, we customize our character, of course. Um, I was thinking what character I could do. And don't know really what to do. I will, um, well, I know now what to do. I, I was, was wandering around through the character classes, as you will see. There are a lot. Yeah, you see, this is... I mean, if you play the pen and paper, there are still more, but uh, I don't think that there is a role-playing game uh, that will give you that many character classes. And I wanted to the Hunter, because I um, was playing a Hunter a few years ago. And therefore, I will take this. this here. I will take the Fox Rays. Um, not sure how they are called. So this could would be okay. Nah, this one not. But the foxes can turn into um, human shapes. So also take a human shape picture and this is great because it's a hunter <laughs> or an assassin don't know but it's with a bow anyway there is probably a male hunter or something like that as well i think he was the male hunter yeah he would also be a good portrait for a hunter I'm not sure, should I take a male character or a female character? Female, I'll take this picture. Male, I'll take this picture. Hmm. I'll have to live with that for two years or so. I don't know how long this, this let's play will take. Yeah, let's let's take let's take a male character in the other in my Pathfinder Kingmaker campaign I was a girl, so oh, let's do it male. And as I said, we there are a lot of a ton of different um, stuffs. 
Hunter is a combination, a hybrid between uh, Druid and Paladin. Uh, no, not Paladin um, and Ranger. Druid and Ranger. So we have Druid spells and we have spells from the start. Um, that we also have, and that's really important, we have an animal companion from the start, and this one will be the one who will deal the damage, as we will do uh, support and, um, and rage attacks. So we could take the normal hunter, or we could take one of the, um, what's it called, uh, subs. Subclasses, don't know. If we take a subclass, I mean, we will take the looting scoundrel subclass. That one's quite nice. Ah, I don't have the animal focus. Hmm. The animal focus is nice. Uh, the hunter. Uh, one of the of the really nice things of the hunter is we have a lot of teamwork feats that work with us and the uh, animal companion. So uh, we work as a team, the hunter and his animal companion. Uh, the Kudling scoundrel I was looking has some um, advantages. This scapegoat is nice. Because you can um, take one of your um, one of your team members, normally your um, your animal companion, and um, and all the others take a penalty of minus two for everyone else but the scapegoat. <laughs> um, that's really nice. It's a really nice effect. Um, but the animal focus is also nice. Uh, it gives you a bonus. Um, at first level, the hunter can grant an animal aspect to her animal companion. Unlike with the hunter herself, there is no duration on the animal aspect applied to her animal companion. An aspect applied in this way remains in effect until the hunter changes it. So, like, we could give the animal some bonuses, like um, Falcon, that it can have a bad exception, or Bear or Bull, which will give more constitution and strength, and stuff like that. There must be some more, yeah. Mouse. This gives uh, the animal companion evasion, which is really great. Uh, I'll stack and stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. It's nice. You can also take it for yourself, the animal focus. Um, but this will only. Uh, work for one minute or something like that per level or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, to her level, equal to her le level. So one minute per level or something like that. Um, so we would lose this in favor for the scapegoat. Will there be anything else changed? We would get backstabber. For the second animal focus, and if the animal and ourselves two focuses at, at once, uh, backstabber gives us um, like two d six blood damage. This is a, a bit like the vivisectionist in the um, in my Kingmaker game. So, yeah, that's it. And Master Bex instead of Master Hunter. 20th level is so far away.
Yeah. So we trained the animal focuses for a bit more damage in combat. You could say, uh, if we take the colluding scoundrel instead of the normal hunter build. Uh, the others are not really interesting. I mean, the forest that loses the animal companion, it doesn't make sense to take him. I mean, you take the hunter because of the animal companion. Um, we don't want to be divine, so these two for that. The urban hunter, I don't think will change too much. We get other animal companions, I believe. This is the only thing that changes. Oh uh, no, later on. Like we lose a work feet. Uh, yeah. What ring marks, man? Mm, not sure what this one does. Plant distraction. Yeah, we lose teamwork feats. I really like the teamwork feats. So, mm, I'll take the Colluding Scoundrel. That one's nice. So, we will take Kitsuna. Uh, now he looks like a fox, but as I said, um, Kitsuna can change their appearance. They have changed shape. They have a fox and a human uh, portrait, and our human uh, Kitsuna, we will do like our portrait. So, there are two kinds of Kitsunas. Um, the normal Kitsune gets a plus two on Charisma and Dex and minus two on Strength. Minus two on Strength is bad for the Kitsuna. Normally they are not really good, uh, not a really good race for uh, Hunters, but I really like to do that because all the others I played before, well, I didn't take Tieflings or Oreads or Ampires, but they are just strangely, uh, strangely colored people. And Azimaza I really don't like. We will not be some, some kind of guy running around with a halo. And these are the normal ones. I really like gnomes, uh, but they also do, um, bad ones. So we can take Anyway, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, and the King Kitsune is the same, but uh, Charisma is um, replaced by Intelligence, so they have a plus two on Int. Um, I, I, re I will take the King Kitsune because. Uh, the plus two on int will give me one skill point more. I think int is a bit a bit more important for the game than charisma. Charisma is, is important for the persuasion of the, and persuasion you will have a lot in this game. Yeah. I don't know. No. We are we are hunters, we can talk to people. So let's take the key. Okay, uh, we can have a background. I was uh, um, thinking about the Wanderer background because we could take the Hunter background, which give, gives us uh, already the weapon proficiency longbow, as we want to uh, fight with the longbow anyway. I'm not sure if this would be important because uh, for the Hunter himself, we get simpler and more. And I think the longbow is a martial weapon. Hmm. So probably this is not not an important point to do, but it uh, it fits our our role here. I mean, we could take also some other things like bounty hunter, gladiator. Art, nah, mercenary. Uh, 
they give us uh, some something. Yeah. No, let's take the hundred. Okay. It gives us not only the weapon proficiency, but also plus one competence bonus on. Um, Hmm, if the character already has this class skill weapon proficiency, armor proficiency granted by the selected background from the class during character creation and the corresponding bonuses, the background changes, change to a plus one competence bonus in case of skills, a plus one, ah, yeah, we get uh, law nature, law nature we don't have as a hunter, interestingly, as a class skill, so this is good. Perception, I think we do have um, as a class skill, so we will get a uh, plus one bonus there. So, uh, we will take at least two points of strength to bring it to 10. Uh, I'm not sure, probably we'll bring it to 12 or even 13 because we want to make more damage with our bow later on. Um, but let's, let's just uh, get this up to like 18, and we need wisdom for our spells. So, um, we have three points left. Good. Two. Like one here. Here and one here. One. Hmm. If we do it like that, then the first three attribute points would go into con strength and int. Yeah, why not? I think dexterity is really important. Okay, next. We have four um, points. We normally have three, but we have plus one through the... Um, plus one through the intelligence. Hmm. There are some things we really need all the time. Perception persuasion, these are these two. Um, I think we could take also athletics as so one point. Or well, let's just not do it and take the nature and non world. <clears throat> They're quite Quite important. The knowledge skills are also quite important. I hope that we get someone who will do the law, religion, and knowledge arcana for us. But at least we will have um, a bit of a bonus on these two. Law nature is also important to um, skin animals for better loot. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, next. Feet. Yeah, well, we'll take the point blank shot, as he tells us would be a good first um, thing. I want weapon finesse would be really great um, if it worked for bows, but it doesn't work for bows. I'm pretty sure about that. With a light weapon. What's a light weapon? A light weapon is used in one hand and is easier to use in one's... Yeah, it's it's two-hand. The bow is always a two-handed weapon. And it's I, I think weapon finesse only works for, um, for uh, melee weapons. So it would be nice, but we will uh, we will do our build for... Um, we will not go into melee combat, you will see why. 
soon. So we need a deity. I was also looking around the deities and we will take Goldra. I don't think that the deity will have any much influence on us, but I'll take Goldra uh, for the sake of uh, roleplay. It's uh, the deity of nature. And um, interesting is um, it's one of three deities that is neutral. <laughs> And we will play a true neutral character. Uh, also for the sake of um, roleplay. But you will see that later on. And for the animal companion, I will go with the boar. I have really good experiences with boars as animal companions. As I said, I was playing a hunter a few years ago in a role in a, in a pen and paper group. And there I had a boar. Boars are um, the creatures with the highest natural armor. The animal companion with the highest natural armor. They do less lesser damage than uh, than others. I mean, for more damage, we could take a mastodon or um, a leopard. No, this one doesn't do more damage, but. Uh, or the wolf, they all do more damage than we. Although one is is not bad, but we we have uh, we ha we we don't hit as often. Yeah, and I mean it's a big pig running around with us all the time, and uh, at seventh level it becomes large. So now it's medium sized like us, then it's large will be normal. will be a bore. <laughs> okay. So we have two uh, spells at the start. Um, spells work. Uh, this is also kind of nice for the hunter. We only have a few spells. But these we can do as often as we uh, want we'll take the hurricane bow and the magic fang hurricane bow to make our attack stronger and magic fang to make our boar stronger. Magic fang is really great because um, then you have a magic weapon from the start and it's plus one um, to hit and to damage. So that's great. So we'll take neutral, true neutral. No, not Cal, no, true neutral, neutral. Neutral. Yay. So um, this will be part of our um, of our role playing experience. We will do. Um, we will um, work as neutral as possible. Like the, I think it's great because the uh, the the true neutral is gray. <laughs> like the um, like the neutrals in Futurama, <laughs> which Seth Brannigan hates. Um, we will do um, if we get the choice, and we will not. Uh, and if we don't take the neutral choice, if there isn't a, there isn't a neutral choice at all, uh, we will always take the opposite one in the next um, in the next the next possible way. So if we take an evil choice once, next time we will take a good choice, lawful thing, and next time we will take a chaotic thing. So if we take in a a moment of uh, stupidity, a lawful good action. Then, if in the next, uh, the next, the next um, dialogue gives us the possibility to take chaotic evil, we will take chaotic evil, next. even if it will attack the people. Chaotic evil normally does. Uh, this is the this is the point why we can't, you can't you can't play chaotic evil in Pathfinder Kingmaker because if you want to be true to your 
to your um, role, then you would have to attack the people all the time, and yeah, this doesn't work. But true neutral will work, and we will not do too often um, actions that will bring us in any of these directions. We will always counter counteract in the next possible way. So, uh, yeah, this is much too much. <laughs> primary color. Ah, this is the primary color. Yeah, well, we are, yeah, like in the, in the woods, so let's take mud green and Paint? Really? Where is the wall paint? I don't see it. Ah. So we don't have wall paint. But that's good. Okay, no wall paint. Uh, we don't have scars. Um, This is our yeah. Let's let's make him a bit browner. Or can we make? Him yeah, let's let's take. That's good. Pipe. Uh. Let's make a fat fox. <laughs> a very slender fox now. Let's let's take this. I mean it's a fox. Let's let's stay with the first one. That's okay. We don't have hairstyles, we don't have cells, secondary colors. Let's let's take this one. That's quite okay. Okay. Next, and now we will do our human face because um, yeah, yeah, we need a beard like the guy, yeah, like this one, and it must be gray, grayer, yep, good. Yeah, more or less. Can we? I, he even has a small. Yeah, that's okay. Let's take this guy. Their life ends here. Yeah, let's let's see. We take will him. be victorious. We will be victorious. Why not? So, <clears throat> name. Um, we could take slot about fast again. Why not? Everyone who doesn't know who slot about fast. Tenth of August. Calm down. Not dead yet. Calm down, you're not dead yet. Okay. I think we are done. We are not really done. Uh, we will just start the game, and then we will have to do our animal companion as well, because he gets some skills as well. This will be great. Okay, so we will uh, do our first uh, encounter, um, our first social encounter. Then we will do the horse. He has a name also. This is so, so great. Yeah, let's see. My computer could be a bit, um, 
could be a bit... Mm, too slow for this game. <gasps> see, see, there is my pig. It's running around with me. Oh, it's so great. It's a pig. Oh, we'll stand. No. Hey, somebody! We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? No, we are not a fighter. My, my, would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't you he be it off hmm. somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary or yeah. an accommodating ditch? Yeah, he's a nice guy. I like him right now. <laughs> an accommodating... Make room, everyone. Step back. <laughs> now, what's the matter? Idiot. What happened to him? I don't know what happened to him. The wound looks nasty. Who did this to him? Okay. Demons, prelate. We found him barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. Okay. Uh, we will... Um, uh, most of the time I will read the text. Um, some text will be spoken. So if the text is spoken, I won't read it. The walls, you say? Enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. Try. <laughs> we'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard. Take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Mm. Wounded or not. Not my weapons. Are you stupid? Rules. He can get his things back after the festival. <laughs> Let's see if I crash the game. Oh, Inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal his wounds. Uh, the magic envelopes you, but your pain lessens only slightly. Let me die. Water? Uh, just let me talk. I know. We need every pair of hands we can get in this city. We'll get you back on your feet, and you'll mm -hmm. have a chance to seek vengeance. Yeah, of My course. My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendelev. You there? Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping, and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendelev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. Okay. I'll get her! Terendelev! Has anyone seen Terendelev? <clears throat> Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. Okay, uh... I've lived in the city for a long time. <laughs> I'm a traveler. I was just passing by. I don't remember. Hmm, that's a good answer. <laughs> we could change our name later on, probably. Um, who I am? One of your business. I don't remember. Also, uh, fits to the Disco Illusion that I'm playing right at the moment. Okay, who I am is none of your business. Okay, let's 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 say we are a traveler. Just passing by? And how am I to know that you're not a demon spy? Or worse? Yeah, well, I was just nearly killed by one. <laughs> My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor man. Fox, I'm a fox. Already. Go on. I'll take care of him. Yeah. Hm. All right, as you wish. You are our protector, and a dragon at that. So I shall defer to your wisdom. Why should you say that? I've been informed he was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls, and the city is crawling with their spies. 
Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of this city. Yeah. Do you go away now? The grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade Ooh, of death. Great restoration. There. I like that. <laughs> Thank you for helping me. Let's do it like your that. Thanks, but my work is not yet done. Mm. Are you really a dragon? Me. Perhaps I should retake my true form no. and engulf Why should you say so? To win your trust. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. Yeah. What happened to I me? I do not know yet. And that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Okay. Who are you? My name is Terendalev. I'm the yeah, that's... certainly. Okay. But be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. Will it? But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendalev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. Okay. So, intro done. We are to the game. Ooh, my dear friend. No, 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 no. No, um... He'll go in front of me, of course. Because he's the pig. Okay, he has a plus here, so we can do something with him. Inventory still works. Camera, go away. Oh, look at him. Isn't he a beauty? Oh, he's such a beautiful piggy. Piggy, piggy, piggy. Okay, let's, let's bring him to level one. <clears throat> I didn't look at that really hard. Um, this is the normal way. So he gets some best skills. He gets at level three. This is great. He gets level 6, that's the ocean. At level 9, he has multiple attacks. So he doesn't get a plus 1 every uh, level he gets. Then he gets improved elevation. Uh, we could take uh, some of these, like an aggressor. With an aggressor, we would get a power attack, which is good to make more damage. But I think we will use him more as a tank. And uh, he would lose evasion and I don't want him to lose evasion. Walk, he also loses evasion. What's with Freddy? He still has the evasion and he gets the trip and pull rush. He loses the devotion. Hmm. This I could live with probably. And he loses the multi attack. 
What does the multi attack do? The creature is particularly skilled at making attacks with its natural weapons. Three or more natural attacks benefit. The creature's secondary attacks with natural weapons take only a minus two penalty. Hmm. Just nice. What does it do? Sunder armor. You could destroy armor from the. But you also lose the attack, so you wouldn't hit as good. Hmm. Yeah, I think we don't take one of these. I think this is quite good. I could, could go without the devotion, but I really want the evasion and the multi attack inside. So yeah, let's let's stay like that. So we have two skill points. Yay! We'll take them to athletics first and to perception. And perception is quite good. We have scent, I think, so we can smell stuff. And we have a feet. Ah, yes. I totally forgot about that. Hmm. Blind fight? Nah. Improved initiative. Proof initiative would be quite good, I think. Attack. Oh, we could take the power attack like that. Hmm. hmm. Intimidating prowess. What finesse in there? We could take the armor proficiency light bar. Hmm. Or if we could take armor. As will be our tank and take all the hits. Probably good to have this. Why should we do something to hit the well, combat reflexes or something like that? Like taking more um, attack opportunity. Hmm. Endurance and fortitude saves. Hmm. Well, toughness for more hit points at the start. Hmm. Interesting as well. Hmm. I really don't know if we can find armor for him. So let's take toughness, and when we find out that we can find armor for my pig, we'll take armor proficiency uh, in third level. Yep, let's do like that. So, also has a name, um, and we will call him Philom. If you don't know, what this means, you'll have to find out. Like the 7th of May? Why not? <laughs> yeah, you're such a great pig. Look at it. It also has hearts there. I mean, I know that it's not hearts, but I'm really in love with this pig. See? 10 hit points already. He's indestructible. This pig is indestructible. He will, the ra he will be the rage of every party. So, okay, my dear friends, uh, this was our first. Um, this was our first. Um, installment of this. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will follow me, and we will see if we can. Oh wait, Ready for we anything. do something, like change shape, we can do this. 
Huh, interesting. See? Now we look like the guy on the picture. We are great. <laughs> So, we will know that we are a fox, but in reality, everyone else will see us as a human. We're so cool. Okay. Um, as always, we will see each other again tomorrow. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Until then, bye.